So why figuring it out doesn't ever work? <laughs> Have you ever tried to figure something out and uh, how did it actually work out for you? <laughs> um, when we try to figure things out, we get so into our heads. We get so into trying to compute everything and do the pros and the cons. And we end up doing a lot of mental masturbation and a lot of thinking that is not generative. It's more like figuring things out. It compresses and contracts the space rather than actually getting a sense of possibilities, um, playing with and working from and toward and with possibilities is a completely different game. It's a completely different space of creation. So for example, have you ever been in a financial pinch and wanted to try to figure out how to get out of it? <laughs> like if you don't have enough money coming in and you've got, you know, more expenses than you have income and you try to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to do this? You know, what, what how am I going to get more clients? Let's say, how am I going to get more, you know, people in my, you know, with, in my business? Um, that usually turns turns the energy of your business and you into this kind of like it, it creates a lot of need, creates a lot of need in your world energetically. And that is actually an energy that really dynamically pushes people away. Have you ever encountered somebody who needed you? What did you want to do? Probably run the other direction. <laughs> so when we try to figure out we, we try to figure out like solutions to things. We go into need, we go into like desperation, we go into like all the computation and you lose a sense of space. You lose a sense of presence. You lose a sense of, of re relaxation and the valuing of you, the acknowledging of you, you lose all of that in favor of all the things that you've decided you need to figure out so much more of a desperation energy there. But when you can be present and kind of like sit back, back up a little bit, take a bird's eye view of things from a space of relaxation and go, well, what else is possible here? So if you're looking at a financial, you know, thing that you're trying to figure out, stop trying to figure it out, zoom out, get bigger and go, okay, what is possible here that I have never considered? And this is where I would say asking questions is amazing. Asking questions is um, a very, very dynamic way of inviting new possibilities, new realities, new, new ideas, new creations. Um, all you have to do is go, Hey, what else is possible in universe? That's a, that's a beautiful question from access consciousness. Um, what could I create here? What, what are some revenue streams that I've never considered? What's possible with my finances that I've never considered? What could I look at that I've never considered looking at? Or what perspective could I take or awareness could I function from that would allow this to be greater than I can imagine? Keep rattling off questions. And it's not, you could write those questions down and you also could, you know, just play with your own questions. But a question, a true question is an open-ended invitation for more awareness and different choices that you can make that then start to bring all kinds of new energies, new possibilities, new creations, new choices into your world that weren't there before. And that's where things really start to expand. And you might find, wow, all kinds of new clients or new revenue streams, or maybe there's a new job offer or, or suddenly you, you know, somebody gives you money or you, you, you know, get a notice that your bill was, you know, twice as much as it should have been, or, you know, there's all these different magical ways that things show up to change the reality of things. But as long as you're trying to figure it out, you are so short-sighted and so tunnel vision with the problem that you're trying to solve rather than the expansiveness of the bird's eye view, the eagle eye view that is like, 
I wonder what's actually possible here. Relax as best you can relax in that space. Even if you are in a financial pickle, relax, sit back, go for a walk in nature, you know, something like that. Talk to a friend or, you know, do something that is relaxing. Give yourself the space and all kinds of amazing possibilities will show up. It's just how it works.